out first before you try to reel them in. Now, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling them in nice and steady. This is a great fishing spot. Don't jinx it, kid. You okay there? I think so. This is hard. Look, Jack! It's a rock bass. Yeah, it's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm gonna pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. I like the look of that spot. You got to stick at things, Jack. I know. I think you got a fight. Look. Whoop. I think I got one. Is it a big one? One's a bluegill. <laughs> Not bad. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait and try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. Hey, look at this. And what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan, Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case, orphaned street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. You know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Oh, Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent. Uh... Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong. 
Aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about. No one at all. Come on. Let's pick up your things and get home. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. I don't like it here anymore. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. This is the wrong way! It's a lot of waiting around. It is. <laughs> yep. Ugh, rabbit trout. this necklace ain't that pretty not the luckiest did you thank uncle arthur no need we had a good time what's wrong nothing just met some folk i better go speak with dutch okay hey you did real fine kid thanks we got a problem what i just met some guys out near the river a fella named, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing, just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Good morning, Arthur. Say, Morgan. 
Morgan, you got any hair pomade? So you, you saw Pinkertons, did you? Saw, met, and got the full message. What did you think? I think we're in real... This isn't exactly an enchanted forest, this place, is it? No. I wonder why they called it Valentine. Almost perverse. Seems polar opposite or romantic. Well, I don't know. Some lady I was speaking to in town told me about a curse. A curse? Now nothing's more romantic than a curse. Exactly. The prince turned into a town. into stone, our country turned into morons, curses everywhere. What's Valentine's curse? Well, I didn't quite understand what the woman was saying, kind of her being a bit of an idiot. Some about a massacre, a last surviving Hey, all good out here? Well, I think so, but... Well, I don't know how you got hurt. Okay, stay alert. Any sign of trouble, you shoot first. <laughs> 